Lesson 3. Set up your environment for Go. Let's see what we are going to learn. We are going to install Visual Studio Code, we are going to install the Go extensions, and we are going to explore the Go Playground. Let's start with step 1. Let's download Visual Studio Code. Open the browser and type Visual Code. Go inside the official Visual Code page and let's click on the download button. In my case, I'm going to install it for macOS. Let's open the zip file. Perfect. And then click on Visual Studio Code. Perfect. Now that you have installed Visual Studio Code, let's install the Go extension. The Go extension for Visual Studio Code help you to write application much faster. Click on the extension button here and type go first result go team at google so this one is the official go extension for visit your code provided directly by google so let's click on install perfect now we are ready to write our goal application. Now I'm going to show you how it's fast to write a Go application using Visual Studio Code. Inside the terminal, I am in the location where I want to create my main.go. Inside this location, to open it and start to create my main.go, I need just to type code. Doing that, I can open Visual Studio Code directly in the folder in which I want to create my main.go. Perfect. So let's start. I'm going to create the main.go file. And then I can start to type the Go code. So the first line that I need to write is the package. So pay attention here. I can just type PA. And you can see the Visual Studio Code is suggests me some package directly. I want to add the package main, so I can just click here, package main, perfect. And then I want to import the library FMT. I can do just import, and again, you can see the suggestion from Visual Studio Code. I can click import here, and then I can specify the library FMT. Then I want to write the main function. I can start typing fun, as you can see the suggestion. Here I'm going to click the second, and you can see that directly Visual Studio Code create the skeleton of my function. So I want to write the main function, so I'm going to type here main, and inside the body I'm going to type fmt, you can see the suggestion, dot, you can see all the methods that I can use that coming from the library FMT. So I'm going to choose the println and here I'm going to put a message like hello go from Visual Studio Code. Perfect. I'm going to show you another thing related to the formatting. So let's imagine that I'm going to put this like that. I'm going to add a lot of spaces and if I just save the, the file, I'm going to show you file save you can see the visual studio code will remove all the paces and it will format also the parentheses now that you can see in action visual studio code and the go extensions there is another way to play with go you can use the go playground to run go code inside a sandbox environment feel free to use uh, the go playground for learning purposes but for sure if you need to write a complex Go application is better to use uh, Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to show you how you can use Go Playground. So first, let's go back inside the browser and go inside the official uh, documentation of Go. So go.dev. Here you can see the button play. You will land inside the Go Playground. How you can use it? It's very simple. So first you can write the code that you want to run. So for example, let's change this, hello, go 
from go playground then you can choose the version of go the last one is 1.19 and you have three different buttons the button to share your code the button to format their code so in this case let's imagine that we'll add a lot of spaces also here i can click on format you can see that it is formatting the code exactly how it work with visual studio code then you have the button run and basically if you click on the button run you can see here that the go playground run the project and in this case it successfully run the main function printing hello go from go playground so basically you can use the go playground for learning purposes or if you want to try some new features or even function for example let's try to use a different function to print our message let's put for example let's try for example the printf so hello percentage s and then here i'm going to put go click on run and you can see the same message hello go from go playground but in this case instead of using the println i use the printf let's do a recap on what you learn in lesson three first you learn how to install visual studio code you discover the go extensions that you can install in visual studio code and then you explore also the go playground that you can use for learning purposes thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that i will upload see you in the next lesson bye